Hello children, I am Rupali Chitnis and uh, I am a chemistry faculty at Time Mumbai. Today I am going to discuss with you how to prepare and present your answers for one of the chemistry topics in your science syllabus that is chemical reactions and equations. So let's go straight to some of the tips that I have mentioned here. The first one Revise the radicals chart that you have studied in your 9th standard. I hope all of you remember the radical chart where you had some of the monovalent positive ions such as sodium, such as potassium. You had a chart where you had monovalent negative ions such as Cl minus, OH minus. So you need to revise this chart right in the beginning. Second important thing is make stick-on notes. You have those stick-on papers on which you write the formula. For example, some of the common formulas you can write like calcium carbonate or say sodium sulfate. Just stick it wherever you feel like all over your house and you will, this will come handy whenever you are, you know, moving around. Third important is write and revise all the chemical equations that are in the given chapter. Now there are around 25 chemical equations, only 25. So you need to revise the same equations again and again. Then the most important, the fourth point Practice to balance these 25 equations. What is important is on your own. So what you will do is you will write the equation. There are some tricky equations. There are some simple equations. So let's say for example uh, you write this equation that is decomposition of lead nitrate to lead oxide, nitrogen dioxide and oxygen. So you need to balance this on your own. So you start with lead. There is one atom here, one atom here, so lead is balanced. Nitrogen, there are two atoms. What you see here is only one atom. So the first thing that you do is try to balance the nitrogen. Then go to oxygen. There are three to the six oxygens here. But here you see one, four and two. There are total of seven oxygens. So what we do is we turn this odd oxygen to even by putting 2 here. Now this makes lead 2 atoms. So what do you need to do? You will need to balance lead this side also. So to balance it, I put 2 this side. Now what happens? Now my nitrogen becomes 2 to the 4. So what I need to do is I put 4 here. If you look at the equation, now it is balanced. Nitrogen is 4, oxygen is 3 to the 6 to the 12 and this side also you have 12 oxygens. When you do your balancing on your own, it is very difficult to learn the equation with balanced coefficients. You can't do it, especially when you are under stress while you are writing the exam. So what is important is write the equation, balance on your own. Again, write the equation, balance on your own. The next important point is prepare a chart. Now, there are different types of chemical reactions that you will study. So, you have a combination reaction, decomposition reaction, displacement reaction, double decomposition reaction and redox reaction. Now, what is important is write the definitions of all them, all of them just below in the same chart and this you remember this has to be as per the textbook. Try and learn the definitions as they are given in your textbook and try to give at least two examples each of each of these types. So if you say combination reaction you should be in a position to write at least two reactions. Try and learn the simpler ones like carbon plus oxygen gives you carbon dioxide or say hydrogen plus nitrogen gives you ammonia. And of course these have to be balanced. So try and learn two examples each of these five.
five types of reactions. The next point is very important. All brief answers or give reasons. They have to be answered in point format. You cannot write like an essay. You, it, it has to be as per the points. The keywords have to be mentioned and underlined when you are writing the answer. For example, I have taken one give reason. White silver chloride turns gray in sunlight. This is your question. Now, how will you answer this particular give reason? Now, while answering this question, what is important is, like I said, you have to write point wise. The first point, silver chloride undergoes photolytic decomposition. A very, very important term which must come in your answer. In presence of sunlight. So it undergoes photolytic decomposition. Second, what happens when it undergoes decomposition? It gets converted into silver, which is grayish in color. That is what is asked in your question. And chlorine gas. And the last point in your answer, very, very important. End up your answer with a balanced chemical equation. Wherever possible, Wherever possible, please write a balanced chemical equation for your answers. So I have written my balanced chemical equation. After this, what is important is write the names of the compounds. Just below the equation, write what it is in words. So this is my silver chloride and this is my silver and this is chlorine gas. So what is important is writing the equation and as well as writing the names of the compounds. So that completes my give reason in point form. Do not let examiner cut even a half mark for such answers. Now this chapter specifically can come, the questions can come on this chapter not more than two marks. It will be short answer type so it can be either identify the type of a reaction or define or give reason. So you can expect about two marks question from this chapter. So be prepared to answer completely and so that nothing can get cut from your answer. No marks will be cut from your answer. The next type of the reaction, the last type that we have seen in that chart is redox reaction. The kind of questions that you can expect could be identify the oxidizing or reducing agent in the given equations. Now you have already studied what is oxidation, what is reduction, how to identify. So I do not get into the details of how to identify this. But there can be example can be the equation is given to you and identify the reducing and oxidizing agent. So try and practice more such equations where you should be able to identify which element or which atom is undergoing oxidation and which one is undergoing reduction. And the last small paragraph that you have is based on the corrosion or rancidity. The question is prepare yourself for a short note on corrosion. What is corrosion and what is rancidity? There can be a small give reason to mark question that can be expected on rancid it is why your uh, chips potato chips bags are flushed with nitrogen that is to prevent the rancidity of fats so these are some of the these are my eight points or tips you can say to focus on the entire chapter and the last but not the least what is important is be positive Believe in yourself and trust me, you can do it. Do not be stressed out. Okay. Thanks a lot and all the best from my side.